right we have it right here so if you don't know what is moringa leaf please go to google and just simple google it all right so what we want to do i brought this from the philippines we're going to take out a portion of it just to put it in right so as you guys can see that amount is pretty good we're not going to be using too much of the moringa leaf we're just going to be using a little bit of it to make a nice lovely cup of tea all right now a lot of people may cannot get moringa leaf and a lot of people can't get it but moringa leaf is good for a lot of things it's one of the second most powerful herb herb on this planet you can imagine look how big the planet is and this is one of the next second is powerfulest ever tree herb everything you can get is in this little thing right here so i don't know if you guys know what is marenge all right marenge is is an, an amazing craig what's going on big up yourself craig thank you so much for coming on the show it is an, an amazing thing to use i get this from the philippine few months ago bless up yourself esther delicious and i get them to dry and now i'm going to be using it a lot of people may cannot get it and that's why i like to use the white onion because the white onion is easy and the garlic and all of those things is very easy for you to get so that's why i've been using white onion garlic this that to make one know that you know, can um, also uh, use it but anyway here it is and we're going to i chef what can help me with my weight loss don't worry yourself it is coming up to wait it is coming up to um apple cider vinegar is good weight loss because you want to lose weight let me show you something woman here it is secret recipe from chef ricardo to you because you know what i respect you and i'm going to give you my secret recipes you want to lose weight then this is it because you see once you lose weight and you're in a good shape you have you don't have any sickness you are very good you are very healthy because weight can cause a lot of problem guys yeah when you put on weight be careful look at your weight and look at what's going on in your circle with your weight because you see your weight it is important yes my brother big up yourself respect but this is it for you now how you want to do this one let me show you quickly because when it comes to the weight loss i like to look after my people and my people come first no 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 no. i'm sorry jesus christ come first and you after my brother sorry all right get the upper side of vinegar shake it up like this in the morning all right chef art good morning good morning how you been i hope you've been doing good we're gonna put one teaspoon of the upper side of vinegar in this right here look at that so this is what you want to do first thing in the morning when you wake up and your missus said to you say go in the breakfast and bring her a cup of tea then this is what you want to do first all right and then simple get some water like this all right all right chef Ford, everything is good that's what we want to hear may the lord bless you and guide you and protect you and good health and good shape and good life and everything all right so this is what you want to do in the morning apple cider vinegar and water in the morning when you wake up some people will put a little bit of lukewarm water on it like me just boil my kettle i just tap it up with lukewarm water just to feel it a little bit warm so that's what you can do in the morning because it's coming up to summer and a lot of people will be want to lose weight so this is a recipe where you need to have in your cupboard i'm not even gonna waste this guys because to be honest with you i like it so what you want to do drink it all right ah wow it's a little bit sharp but don't worry yourself about the sharpness is that the sharpness is for the sugar in your body and never run out of apple cider vinegar is one of the most powerfulest thing on the planet so yeah jen good morning all right ah mm.
They want to do that. Put a little bit of water into it and rinse out your mouth from the acid from the vinegar. Rinse out your mouth. Mm. That's it, guys. This is the first thing I drink in the morning. All right? Every morning, this morning, I drink cayenne pepper still. But 95% of the morning, this is what I drink. And it takes me through the day, guys. All right? Let's go to high blood pressure. Jen, we're going to be doing merengue tea for high blood pressure tonight. So tonight is high blood pressure night. So first thing, we're going to get right here, like this. All right? Big up yourself, 100% subscribe to the youtube channel but also you need to eat a little bit healthy yeah don't eat too much of the bread and uh, rice and uh, pasta and them thing that uh, potato that's a lot of sugar you know eat a little bit and if you go for one five day fasting with me that's good so we're going to put a little bit of baking soda all right so that's going to help to remove anything inside of it yeah right here sir all right good vibes man i like that so what we're gonna do come over to our sink and get some water on it all right see so you need to leave it into this little thing right here guys moringa leaf also you can use some if you can get this yeah get some moringa leaf also and use it at home you know your weight loss all of them things are cucumber, mint. All of them things are good for weight loss, guys. All right, let's come right here, sir. And we're just gonna simple rinse it off a little bit. Look at that. So you need to make sure it's in the water for a little bit because you want to remove any pesticide or anything. You know what I mean? Because sometimes when you have them things, are you? You have to wash them off very, very good, guys, before you use them. Trust me. So what you want to do next, get a strainer and run it through the strainer like this. All right. So you can see all right you see once you do that what i normally do i love to um use the the the, the, the my bottle of water and rinse it off you know what i mean rinse off the moringa leaf because sometimes they pipe water yeah if you don't know what I do, because I'm in a rich. I understand me poor just like one of guys, but we only rich through Jesus in heaven. That's the only richness we have right now on this planet. Yeah. All right. So you see, that's all you have to do, guys. So what we're going to do, all right, this is it right here. I just want you guys to see what I'm doing. We're going to get a medium sized pot. Right here, sir. Yeah, any richness we have right now are through Jesus. So we just have to just go and give, live and give thanks and pray. One cup of hot water. I'm using hot water to start the progress. You see that? So when you use hot water, it's going to make the process move a little bit more quicker and also more faster. You understand? That means we don't hold up nobody time. Because a lot of people are saying chef recorded if you do them long and all of them things. But you have to understand, say, is live chef recorder do. You have to appreciate what chef recorder have been doing when it comes to live. So we got one cup of hot water. Chew justice of the peace is in the building. Big up yourself every time. You know what I mean? You know it got it already. Yeah. One cup of hot water, guys. So once you do that, and what you want to do, get the merengue and put it straight inside that, just like this. All right, get that beautiful merengue leaf. 
you can also get the powder i'm gonna show you the powder also yeah all right so uh, because last night we had talked about the jamaican ginger we're gonna put a little piece of the jamaican ginger in it yeah i see a lot of people was uh, but talking about the jamaican ginger last night i see the comments them guys <laughs> people are easy you know, with the comments them. i don't know if you guys look at the comments them sometime so we're going to put a nice little piece of a ginger i'm just removing the skin from the ginger because you know then ginger you travel miles you know So this is what I want to say to you, as I can look, the moringa leaf start to change the color of the water, and that's what we need. All right, yeah. So you can look at the Jamaican ginger; it looks different. So anytime you go in the supermarket and you look for the ginger, just look for the color. Yeah, this ginger is seven hundred thousand year old, guys. So you know, it's only that about. This is for when time Moses days when time no no on the ark when 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 God said get everything in the ark he make sure you put some Jamaican ginger in there and here it is all right so we're gonna grate a piece of this piece of ginger right here so yeah man make sure you get everything in the pot right here we got a piece of nice good piece of ginger. And the ginger going to just bring a lovely little flavor to it. All right, and this is it right here. Beautiful one. Just a little piece of ginger for flavor and taste. Yeah, you, know, you don't have to do too much. Yeah. Oh, you use the organic powder one. Okay, that's good, man. It doesn't matter the organic powder one. Why I get this from the Philippines and I was so happy. <laughs> I need to bring some. You know, long may have some that can. But in the Philippines, guys, they cook this and steam it down. You understand? I did want to do that video, but I didn't get the chance. You understand? um i grow i grow back home back from the free okay all right jen pick up yourself yeah so this one uh, this is what i bring from the philippines all right chef auto remember when you give me this one this one is the one where i bring from the philippines guys and i'm gonna tell you something in the philippines this right here they steam it and eat it so this thing is not a normal thing for a lot of people but a lot of people don't know the benefit of it. the benefit side is amazing all right yeah man it's amazing but a lot of people don't know even in the philippines they don't even know that this thing is also good for high blood pressure and help you with your gut and also wait i'm gonna put the information in the description that you guys can also watch it look at it now i'm gonna put few of my secret inside of it just few cloves not too much into the water you know what i mean few cloves i like my cloves it won't do you anything it's still gonna be just helping you with your gut all right unless you're allergic to it now if you're allergic to um to any of these ingredients don't use it guys and if you are taking some strong medication I would say, um, this is an even chef Ricardo. I would say to you, um, speak to your doctor, guys. You understand? This is the problem I have with a lot of people. When they go to the doctor, they don't want to open up to the doctor. 
Yes, close. You need to open up to the doctor. When you go to your doctor, you need to say to your doctor, okay, doc, you know, Mr. Richard or Mr. Reed, um, this is what I want to know. Don't let the doctor just push things by you and you leave out of the office. You need to speak to your doctor and make your doctor fix the problem for you and solve the problem. That means you can say to you, okay, uh, you know what? I know you want to give me the medication, but I want to ask you a few questions. Can I do some natural home remedy also? These are the two things you can say to you, yes or no. I will say to you, I'm going to lower your, um, your medication from a lower, from a stronger one to probably say a medium. And then you can start to drink up your natural stuff at home. All right. I have the powder um, cloves. Uh, yes, you can. You don't have to put cloves in it, you know, to be honest with you. But I just put it in it because me personally, I love my clothes. Marenge and his horn is perfect. But you can put a few ingredients like what I do inside of it just to boot it up. You understand? I stop and stop to the doctor. Okay. Uh, DJ, what's, DJ H, what's going on, man? Um, substitute for the painkiller. Um, the doctors does know that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what happened? To be honest with you, you know, we, I do respect the doctors then. I understand? I respect every doctor. Because when I did sick and I go to the doctor, I, did, I talk to the doctor like when I talk to anybody. And I will say to the doctor, this is what happened. This is what happened. Can I do this? Can I do that? The last time I talked to the doctor, this is what the doctor asked me. What I've been doing at home. Everything is perfect. And I tell him straight up, so I just changed my diet. And he said, well done. So he didn't give me any medication. He didn't go on the computer and have to type me any medication. He said, go around there and take medication. He said to me, this is the question. He said to me, what I have been doing at home. And I said to him, I changed my diet. I'm eating healthy. And that's what I've been doing. And he said, well done. Many people need to know these things. That's what he said to me. And I said, yes, we know that. Because a lot of people don't know these things. I understand. Susan, big up yourself. Long time. <laughs> big up yourself. Yeah, man, nice to see you coming on the show. So when you go to your doctor and your doctor said to you, say, well done. That means that you are doing something good at home. Uh, where can you find this? This is Marenge. Marenge, you're going to have to Google it. Go up on Google and Google it. And um, let's turn off the cooker and make it one simmer. Because Marenge, I'm drying it. I'm not boiling it. Like, dry it, you know? Marenge, you can get it to buy in Jamaica. I mean, you may have to probably book her. Where can I, where, where can I do to get some and have to lose? And need to is 10 pounds. Thank you. Okay, wait. Um, gain weight, get some weight. Well, I, my advice for anyone who want to put on weight. You may my my advice for you, if you want to put on weight, I want to encourage anyone to put on weight. Because you're gonna have to think about your liver and your kidney. All right, and what's gonna happen when you start to put in this whole heap of fatty things and junk stuff inside of your immune system. You're going to be breaking down to only two things, high cholesterol, and probably you're going to be ending up having, um, we call this one, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and all of them to the type 2 diabetes. So my advice for you, make it happen naturally. If you have to put on weight, you put on weight. Nobody in the world can stop you if you put on weight. If you, if you don't put on any weight, I think that's one of the best things. Stay as you are and keep yourself in shape. Don't eat this whole heap of food. And then you're in a problem when they reach 50 and 60 and 70 year old. You understand? Because then the time that you're going to have to pay the penalty. Don't look at the time now. Look at when time 30 years from now, when they start to get in into certain age. Um, and you cannot walk good. Your knees start to swelling. You start to feel pain in your back. But it's what you are doing now. Because me go tell you, say, you know what? Go up to those fast food and start to eat a whole lot of fast food. Start to drink this whole lot of smoothie. We're having a whole lot of sugar because there's things where you can use. There's like the nutriment and all them things. That there's things that make you put on a lot of weight quick. 
but you're putting a lot of sugar in your body and it's going to be affecting you in the next 30 years. Is what you eat now is going to affect your 30 years. Don't look at it now. It's just like if you buy a new car and you keep driving it for 60, 70 years, it's going to get whole and it's starting to go, you can't start in the money. You start to go, you can't start. It's the same thing with your body. Your body is new now, but if you don't take care of your car, it will mash up. So it's the same thing with your body. If you don't take care of your body now, it will mash up in 30 years time. If you don't eat good right now, eat healthy, eat good food, cut out some of those rice and pasta and meat, in 30 years time, you will be back and forth with the doctor. And the doctor will be going on his computer every three weeks. So my advice for anyone now, from your 30, go right up to 150 year old, because you want to live for 200 years, then my advice, eat healthy, eat good. You know what I mean? And, and drink up a lot of natural teas. So if, if you put on weight, it will happen naturally. If it doesn't happen, don't worry yourself. Go to the gym, exercise, run, and keep fit and slim. That's one of the best things you could ever do in the world. A good vibes. All right? But as, I can, as, I, oh, as you can see, guys, Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, definitely 100 percent DJ. You know what I mean? Yeah, cause next thing we go tell her, say, or tell him or she or say, you know what? Start to use these guys. There's things that the guys can make you put on weight quick. But you're damaging your liver and your kidney. And you know what I mean? When they reach 45, 50, 55, your uncle them start to get swelling. Your uncle can't hold in your shoes, you know. Because they start to swelling. Water in your body. Your body start to swollen, your kidney problem. Guys, trust me, it is real. I understand. Yeah, man. And that's why I want to say to people, cut down on the drinking. And it's, that's what happened to my brother. He gets swollen. A young man, 30-something year old, his body start to swelling because of drinking and smoking. So I use my brother as an example. You understand? The drinking and not eating properly and yeah, and his body started swelling. Because you know, you tell them say don't do this, don't do that, and then continue doing it for over a period of time. What's gonna happen? Because I remember when I get this book, it was brand new. And look at it now. You see, he started getting whole and shiver shivel up. <laughs> He's telling me, Chef of God, I'm going. So anyway, get yourself a copy of the book. It's coming up to Easter. And a lot of people need to support me. I need to in May. 13 is my book anniversary, guys. One and a half month from now, it's going to be my book anniversary. Please support me because I need to get my next book out. All right. I really appreciate it. 100%. Yeah. So I was just going to use that as an example. One of my brother swelling up. Why? Not eating properly and not eating healthy. And I've been talking to him for years. Cut it out and do the right thing. But he's not listening to me. You understand? Young, young, young man. No picnic, no nothing. Young, strong, healthy man. Just start to take up this whole heap of smoking and drinking. I look at him today. Just come from the doctor a couple of weeks ago. And now he must have to go back in a shorter breath, swelling up because of what he's doing. People doesn't take this thing serious. And he's young. Very, very, very young. That's my third brother. So I'm going to use that as an example to millions of people in the world. Say, look after yourself at home. It is important. Cut out certain things because you don't know when the book is going to flip. It may not happen now. It may happen 10 years. Because I remember 20, 20 years ago when he was nice and young and everything. All right. But look at him today. He's swollen up. Knee, his hunk was swelling up, water in his body. Unnecessary. It doesn't, that didn't have to happen. Unnecessary time, unnecessary spending of money, unnecessary going to the doctor. All of these things is just to listen. Just if he did just once listen. And that's the word they keep using. If I did know, I wouldn't have done that. And millions of people are doing the same thing today. But anyway. I just I share a little bit of tips and ideas with you know, to let you know that you understand that there's a lot of things is happening. 
but we can use other as people as an example to share with the world and to make people know say doing certain things may catch up on you as it goes on so the best thing to eat healthy and look after yourself you understand yeah so this is the moringa tea for high blood pressure tonight guys i know i've been talking a lot but that's not part of the show all right so here it is moringa tea with some ginger and cloves all right if you ever make this at home please let me know wow chef ricardo this is not this is amazing i'm so happy i bring this from the from the end time i go i need to go and as soon as i go back to the philippines i need to bring a portion of this and this is how it look guys and if esther delicious planting the moringa at, it, at his house yeah man this is how this is not a normal thing guys look at this oh you never see you can google it you know king fire what's going on man you've been missing the show you know we have to send you a notification <laughs> all right what you can do you can google it guys google it if you don't see it before and you don't know anything about it you can google it google it and you know what i mean read upon it and see it but it is very very good the moringa yeah. the rasta man them use this a lot especially in jamaica because it's something we know a lot of people grow the tree in them back garden so if anyone have this a tree in them back garden cherry it just you know what i mean take care of it like how you take care of your wife or your girlfriend or your husband all right if you have this tree in your back garden yeah man so if you have the tree this tree moringa tree in your back garden treat it like your wife like your husband this is your this is this is like a passion you want to treat it good make it grow lovely and nice you cut it you you, you, you take the leaf you pick back the leaf you grow it back and make sure everything all right don't make your neighbor go over it and destroy it make sure you are taking care of it because the medicine behind it is amazing it is powerful and it is effective moringa tea from chef ricardo this evening to you guys as you can see all right a good vibes all right so this one is for the high blood pressure tonight if you're on medication speak to your doctor first and let your doctor know if you're not on medication you can drink this tea like me and not on any medication so i just drink these things regular to look after my immune system all right so it's the same thing for you anyway getting yourself a copy of the book from poverty to purpose chef ricardo secret recipes to success thank you so much i'm right here all right in the kitchen so now where's my honey all right and now molly i got two type of honey guys yeah, you might want to put a little bit of honey for taste and flavor. So I'm using this one. Sometimes I use this one. Very, very good. It is, is 40 grade. All right. Okay. All right. Good one, DJ. Big up yourself for that one. And also I use the organic honey right here, the raw one. Also, this one is also very good. I use both of them because... All right. Then what you want to do is take out a little teaspoon of it and just put it inside of it like this and mix it. So I'm using a table teaspoon, guys. Not tablespoon, a teaspoon. All right. So I, I use this one and I use this one. It's up to you whatever. I have both of them. And what you want to do, taste it and see what's going on. Oh, yes that is perfect 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 now you can taste the merengue you can also taste a little bit of the ginger kick into it it's not overpower the merengue and yeah it tastes lovely really lovely and nice and it tastes fresh 
So to I pick it from the tree, dry it and bring it here. It's not the grind of powder one. Because I have this one, which is also good. All right. This is the powder one right here. $2.99 for a little bag, guys. All right. The powder one. But the same moringa, this one I can also grind it up and turn into powder. Also like this. Esther Delicious need to plant the, 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 the moringa tree in his back garden. That is a very powerful seed. Powerful um, leaf to make teas at home. All right. So let's end up the show now. We did high blood pressure tea tonight. Sharon, big up yourself every time. So tomorrow night is not going to be high blood pressure tea, but you can drink a tea, a green tea, a hibiscus tea, garlic tea, or white onion tea tomorrow night also. Because I drink tea every day. Every single day I will drink a cup of tea. All right? 95% of the time I drink green tea when I'm at home. All right. Tomorrow we will do a healthy recipe. So tomorrow is going to be Wednesday. So Thursday night we will be doing high blood pressure tea. Join me for free. It's to help you at home. You can have high blood pressure and there is no symptom. They talk about this every single day on social media. If you're not listening, it's up to you. You can go to your doctor and make your doctor do a thing like this on his computer. And you can spend a 30 or 40 quid on your medication. You want to keep yourself away from medication? Please join me for free. It don't cost you a penny to join and to watch the video. It is for your own benefit at home. It's to help you to understand that you can look after yourself naturally at home without any medication. Because I'm not on any medication, guys. You can do the same thing at home. All right? So let's join together tomorrow and also Thursday. Thursday night is going to be high blood pressure tea again. My blood pressure is high and I don't, don't trust the doctor medication. Okay, I know you don't trust the doctor medication, but if the doctor give you medication, it must be in a reason why he give you the medication. I'm not a doctor. So what you're going to do, you need to speak to your doctor and say to him, say, okay, can I, he will lower your gram. If he's giving you a strong dose, he can lower a, a less dose and to give you, I said to, you, said to your doctor, I would love to do some natural medication at home. Can you lower my, and what, one of the main things what you're going to need to do is change your diet. So if you have a high blood pressure, change your diet. That's the first thing you want to do. Change your diet and start to eat healthy. Get a lot of vegetable, alkaline dinner and start to do some fasting with yourself. Monitor yourself with some fasting. All right? I am diabetic to my... I am diabetic to... Oh, my medication. Okay. So if you have... Any kind of symptom at home, whether whether you're a diabetic person or if you are having any kind of problem at home, is speak to your doctor. It's only two things your doctor can tell you. You know, he only, remember your doctor is not if your doctor can. Some people, you, when you go to your doctor, you need to open up to your doctor that they can fix help you to fix the problem. If the cake is broken, you're gonna have to fix back the cake for it to come back together. You understand? So my advice to anyone, you go to your doctor, you have a high blood pressure. You say, the doctor might say to you, say, okay, you're going to need to change your diet. You don't walk out and say, okay, doc, I'm making give you a medication. You need to say to your doctor, okay, I am going to start my healthy eating. I'm going to change my diet. Can you give me a lower dose? And I'm going to use some natural home remedy at home to kick in with my diet. Like you want to say to him, say you're going to use white onion, which is awesome. Very good for, we got the moringa leaf, we got some garlic, we got ginger, we got a lot of things. All right. Um, I just got a new doctor. I need to let the other doctor, I'll let the other doctor on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so change your doctor, but speak to your doctor. You don't have to be on medication, guys. And millions of people can came off of the medication. 
but you just need to open up to your doctor. And when you're opening up to your doctor, empty your shelf. Go in your kitchen and empty your shelf because sometimes it's the things in your shelf in your kitchen is causing it. Christy Williams, big up yourself. Like you're eating, what you're eating at home can cause it. Like you're eating, whether, I don't know why you're whatever you eat. Some, a lot of people still eat rice that still eating bread and you have high blood pressure. Still using a lot of salt because remember, you know, salt doesn't give you high blood pressure. Salt rise your high blood pressure. The season in the salt rise your high blood pressure. My doctor tells me that to stay away from salt and seasoning. That's what I'm saying. Help empty your cupboard. So when you empty your cupboard, your cupboard is this. So I got my little cupboard right here. So this is my little cupboard. All right. So I do a lot of natural stuff like this. Natural, you know what I mean? Cloves. All of these things. So this is my cupboard. Empty your cupboard. And that's where the problem is with a lot of people who have high blood pressure and still taking medication. They do not want to let go the cupboard. The cupboard is a red flag. I'm telling you. Because... <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this. Let me talk a few more minutes. I went to one of my <laughs> this guy horse, but he have high blood pressure, and I said to him, brother, you have high blood pressure, and coffee is not good. Yes, definitely cut out the coffee, because coffee do help you to rise the high blood pressure. So I said to the guy, you need to empty your cupboard. There's a problem, <laughs> and he said to me, said, why, Chef Ricardo? I said, no, man, this season, powder season where you have, there's a lot of things. You got the ASMG in it. Yeah, same thing. No, M, no MASG in, the food, in food and all of them things there. So I said to him, said, no, you need to empty your cupboard. Be careful of the cupboard. And he was like laughing at me. And I've been saying, say, why are you still on medication? Because of the cupboard. Empty the cupboard. Get rid of the rice. Get rid of those pasta and all them things the way you have. And get these. Get these. Oops, this one is burst. Get these things. You understand? Get these things, guys. Red lentil, green lentil, all of these things. You know what I mean? And start eating healthy. And you will see and do some fasting. All right, sir. Yeah, and I just do a little bit of fasting. Me personally, sometimes I cook different kind of food. And I in Saudi. Yeah. Sometimes I cook a little bit different kind of food. Sometimes I cook like soup and I make a little bit of spinach in it. So I look a bit of this and a little bit of that. But I don't do those things on a regular basis because me personally, I drink a lot of teas and I eat drink a lot of smoothie, like beetroot. Um I eat a lot of raspberry, blueberry, and all of those things. So to keep my immune system cleaner all the time. Because when you're eating too much of these meat and all these things in your stomach, it's just like a sink in your kitchen where you wash your plate. You have to have gen cleaner to clean your sink, guys. So you need to clean your column on a regular basis. You need to wash out your column. Get rid of out of it. Starve yourself sometimes. Don't eat any food. And clean it out. It's just like a sink in the kitchen. Because when things tap up in it and go into your blood, that's what's going to make your high blood pressure go up. It's all about your diet. Nothing else on this planet. It's what you eat. If anybody want to come off a medication, you can come off. It's a simple thing. Empty your kitchen cupboard. If you live with your wife or your husband and he's, he's one doing one thing, you do one thing. You just tell him, say, this is your cupboard. This is my cupboard. You buy your stuff and put it in your cupboard and eat healthy. If you have to cook two pots, cook it. One for yourself, one for your husband. And be honest with yourself. Don't eat the rice. Instead of you eat the rice, eat potato. Sweet potato, guys. Instead of you're going to eat white potato, mashed potato, eat cauliflower mash. Cauliflower mash is amazing. Or you can do some cauliflower rice. So there's a lot of things are there for us to do at home. And as I said before, if you eat now good, in the long run, 
it will be good for you. You don't have to keep running up to the doctor when you reach 60 and 70. The doctor don't need to see you because you are looking after yourself today. That's the message to anyone. So keep away from certain things. Keep away from the seasoning. The seasoning in the kitchen is a problem. And most of these carby and chef, when you go there, using a lot. Um, cauliflower had that this evening. Okay. Yeah, man. You can also, I did a cauliflower mash. You can mash the cauliflower. I'm going to do back the video on my YouTube channel. I have the video. I'm going to upload it. Cauliflower mash. And I do the sweet potato mash. Just chuck it into your blender. Put a little bit of, um, what do you call it? Just a little bit of black pepper inside of it. I don't even put nothing in a Maya one. I just blend it and eat it with avocado and some, what do you call this thing? Yeah, I did the video. Um, I did um, Kalalu. Simple. Cauliflower mash. So instead of you, you eat celery and fish. Wow, that's amazing. Good. That's fish. You know what I mean? Omega 3. Good. Sometimes you're going to have to cut out the meat, the beef, the chicken, the pork, the lamb. Cut it out for a little bit and stick to a little bit of a healthy vegetables because that's what's going to make the difference in your system. Is your, your, your stomach is like a sink. When you wash your plate, it goes down into the sink. When you're ready to clean your sink, you have to get GN cleaner to clean out all of that muck out of your sink. So that's why I see a lot of people when they go to the toilet, they can't have a good flow because inside of them, it's getting, the, the, the mess is getting hard up inside of you because you're not eating properly, you're not drinking enough water, you're not having enough fiber in your stomach. So what you need to do, drink up a lot of natural stuff. Eat up a lot of vegetables, cucumbers. Sometimes I eat salad for one week straight. I did it last week. Salad, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Base salad for that five days. When I went to the loo, you can see exactly. If you use the toilet and you have to use spray and all them things that to get rid of your toilet, it is a red flag. It's telling you something is not right with your stomach. I don't know. Some doctor will say to you, says it is good. But for me, there's no way you can sit on your toilet for five minutes and I go, <clears throat> and then when you come, you have to vacuum the whole house. You understand? There's no, I don't know. But for me, my opinion, I think if you're eating healthy, you know what I mean? And you go to the toilet, you're supposed to can sit and you run freely, lovely and nice, and you come out no scent and all of these high vacuum scent where you have to spray at your toilet and all of those things. I think that is to show you everything what you do in life, it will show you a sign. Do you think of so this thing for a piece are eating a lot of them. Um, pasta, I don't eat the pasta. I used to eat pasta 10 years ago. I stopped those things and so what I normally do Instead, of, uh, I eat like beans and chickpeas, red kidney bean. God, those things have a little bit of a fiber in them and a protein inside of them. So that's what I eat. Pasta is flour. Sometimes when I'm doing my videos like soup and all them things there, because I don't have any, any medication history right now, for now, I don't know in the future, but for now, everything is good. Sometimes I will make a few spinach, put in my soup and all these things. Sometimes when I'm making certain kind of food, I only eat. Um, wait, me eating, I am just asking about the peas. Sometimes I am saying, okay, well, um, you know what happened to my point of view with the peas, red kidney bean and all peas. I think that is, you know, what I mean, it's good because at the end of the day, that can also protect you from cancer and all of those stuff. Because it's not only one thing, you know. I don't eat pasta. I make my own vegetable. Yeah, that's vegetable pasta is the best. You can make some vegetable pasta. Use the European vegetables and make pasta from it. Wow, this is getting cool. Ah. Anyway, guys. Yeah, pasta is flour. Pasta is, is, is made from flour. But you have, um, you can use 
thing the flower you know guys uh we we'll call it like almond flour you can use almond flour um yeah pasta is flour uh, it paste with carrot together yeah i do i do um yeah i do that before i did um carrot and and carrot and pumpkin and all of those things i did all of those kind of video before mix them up with flour but the best flour you can use you can use almond flour and what there's another flour again um almond flour i use almond flour before and it is very very good guys it doesn't taste that is is organic almond flour also Plate, plate food and pasta like bread the bread and the pasta bread pasta all of those stuff you know what i mean if, if once you have high blood pressure is to avoid them there corn flour corn i do my um corn flour well i never use corn flour i use cornmeal i never use i use cornmeal before but i'm not really keen on all, all a lot of these things and normally <laughs> i'm a person that does love my vegetables i know that is one of my best things where i find myself into a lot of vegetables sometimes i only put those things into my diet to balance out the diet like every other three weeks four weeks i will be doing a soup or i will be making a cooking of food all right um breadfruit flour so all, all of those things so the, is these things exist Bread, <laughs> breadfruit flour is those things where you get those um chickpeas flour I never use none of them then either. Chickpeas flour, I use almond flour before. Well, I, I may, um, because probably where I am, I don't see them, but still in the end, I would like to try the breadfruit flour. Wow, I'd love to see how they make that one. Only hopefully they don't put any white flour to mix with it to combine it because 95% of these things, I think they will put something to combine it together. You understand? Um, brown it in the soup. Okay. Oh, that's some tea, some tea. Okay. <laughs> Me personally, I'm going to tell you the other truth, guys. I just love my natural vegetables and fruits and my beetroot, my citrus juice, like my um, kiwis and green apples and you know i mean my melon all of those things i love those things and salad i love that anything else is just a little bit of no one and then i will just put it together and do something all right but i will definitely i'm gonna do some research on them breadfruit flour there and i wonder if they have a jackfruit flour <laughs> any jackfruit flour yeah the fruits, me personally, I only right. I never I try my best not to run out of those things. Fruits, and these are things where I like. These, I love these things, man, because uh, these things is very healthy. These are what I love: chickpeas, red lentil. These are things where I love these things because some of these things they have to have something to eat. To combine it together on and, and I just like when I'm making um if you're making what you call it, say you're making um pumpkin dumpling, carrot dumpling, you have to add white flour. So you can use almond flour, but the almond flour and all of those things, unless you're gonna get proper good organic flour, they still add something to it to keep it to bind. Well, I will do my research on it because I know. What well, I prefer stick to my what I used to. <laughs> I forgot some of those things with it. I wonder if they have a jackfruit flour and, and, and kiwi flour and all the things there. And what you call it again? Green apple flour. A joke, guys. Anyway, we don't think so. That would be a red flag. Mm -hmm. All right. This is amazing. Now, it is 49 minutes we are in the kitchen talking and we reach to a point where we can say you know what it is a beautiful evening all right and we're just going to give thanks for what the lord has done for us all right 
and we can learn from one another because i didn't know that you have breadfruit flour so that is something new to me you understand i didn't know so it is good we can learn from one another and i really appreciate it guys i learned something new tonight breadfruit flour so i will look into that one and yeah yeah i will do my own research on it also so thank you so much for tonight and whatever you do man be a bless and just keep <laughs> rich banana flower <laughs> planting flower uh, all right you just just big of yourself well let's see but anyway tomorrow night we're going to be doing another healthy tea and please join me tomorrow night it is for free guys you don't need to pay then thursday night we come back in the kitchen with higher blood pressure tea here's just in big up yourself all right we may do a tea tomorrow night to help people to get to sleep because a lot of people are sleeping you understand remember to get yourself a copy of the book also i don't know that um okay all right so guys i will catch up tomorrow with a lovely cup of tea again and some healthy food and healthy recipes i may do a healthy salad or a healthy vegetable eating tomorrow all right so whatever you do this evening pray and give god thanks man just give thanks guys because there's a lot of things happening all over the world today and we are here you understand 1.5 million people worldwide today is not among with us today so if you are you are with me right now talking why not give god thanks and praise we may not have certain kind of things that we'd love to have in place but we have jesus christ to cover all of our everything that we have so 1.5 million people worldwide is not with us today and you with us today so let's give thanks give god the praise give god the glory and today may not be a beautiful day today for you because certain little things but tomorrow gonna be a better day you understand so give thanks for what you have give thanks for what you're being through the day not even a scratch you come in you sit down you can turn on your tv you can watch the news you can listen to chef ricardo and many other people give thanks you come from work nothing happened not even a scratch you come in, you cook your husband dinner or your wife dinner. The kids are right. Give thanks. All right? No matter what's happened, give thanks. 1.5 million people does not with us every single day. So if you're with us today, give God thanks. All right? As a Father God, thank you to keep me for this beautiful day. Thank you for providing for me and thank you for your blessing for me. Keep it real, guys. You understand that's what we are about keep it real may the lord bless you guide you and protect you and i will see you tomorrow night with chapter two join me for free you don't need to pay have a lovely evening bye-bye big up man